And lo and behold, the old base circuit white blaze pointing out the way. Interesting smell of new mown hay and meadow, as well as pininess of forests and so forth. This is the Mount Misery area, reputedly, and it goes over to Fairhaven Bay, south of the hopelessly clobbered and woefully abused Walden Pond. More evidence that with a little imagination and an ability to ignore the ridiculous bullshit from the various tourism boosters, one can find incredible beauty and peace and quiet close to Boston in the Commonwealth. Of Massachusetts. Looks like the blazing strategy here is just to make sure that you've got a reminder blaze at every potentially confusing turn location. That must go up to Mount Misery. God, the Puritans were horrible with their stupid place names. What could possibly be all that miserable about this? Happy-go-lucky understory birds are singing their little hearts out. My more astute bird alert blogger colleague Peter indicates that this is the time of angry birds and territorial squabbles. Oh, a recent blowdown. Like, it could have been yesterday. Although, needle desiccation indicates it must have been last winter or sometime. And another run of entitled mud owners that aren't really psyched about the leash admonition. <sighs> the highly emotional mythos of jackass mud owners and the ridiculous urgency that they apply to spoiling poochie rotten and to do this they'll cravenly ignore every conceivable request about appropriate conduct in properties they don't actually own <laughs> americans are such ridiculous dicks
let's see. We seem to be missing a blaze. That's the Kettle Trail. Probably indicating more of the old kettle hole dimples that were also an element of the origin of Walden. Example of a removed blaze. You would go straight ahead here, though. You wouldn't be going down this trail, nor would you want to be going down this trail. This way goes all the way to Newburyport, and this way takes us eventually to Duxbury. So now that we know that there's been more blaze vandalism, I'll be alert. Yeah, see, there's some more blaze removal. I'll be alert to looking for the telltale nails that indicate a blaze was indeed placed. I'm increasingly convinced that this white plastic blaze concept was ill-considered cheesy. Good old swatch of white paint probably would have been better. But then maybe that's a problem if they don't make durable oil paints anymore. So if you stuck latex on the tree, it wouldn't really last. Who knows? It's your basic first stage pine forest. The glory of pummeled Walden is up that way somewhere. The Commonwealth's Tourism board is astonishingly stupid. <laughs> the Commonwealth itself is full of charming little things almost everywhere you look. So the whole strategy of trying to concentrate the clueless at the same five or ten beaten to death places in an era of Web 2.0 where you have virtually unlimited abilities to make content about anything, these idiots still persist in running stuff like we're stuck back in the 1960s. They do have a cute squirrel though. So you could either be miserable at Walden <laughs> and see the absolute travesty it's become. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Someone salvaged a blaze. Or you can 
cover some of Henry's other haunts that people are too lazy and clueless to look up and the Commonwealth is too lazy and clueless to indicate and you can find your satisfaction that way.